it started as a Pinkaluru campaign, wherein we said Pinkaluru.com and a whole bunch of things, no city for women and all that, post Church Street and everything else. We said, as a media organization, is there something that we can do to make a difference? Besides just, uh, you know, talking about it, gaining your TRP ratings and everything else, right? Now, even today, the Economic Times talked about the uh, police launching an app, Women's Safety. Uh, Modi launched an app a couple of years ago called Himmat around women's safety. We understood that from Mr. Praveen Sood when we discussed this whole thing with him a couple of weeks ago, our commissioner of police. Now, what happens is an app is an app is an app. There are a million apps out there, right? We have a watch today that has a particular feature of triggering five telephone calls to people who are close, the Sonata Act, if you will. But then all of it gets to naught because technology and communities actually need to come together, which is when the entire conversation spawned. And we had a beautiful comrade in arms in uh, Facebook, Ankur, Jinu, Shruti, and of course, Ritesh, all of them who kind of came on board with us. We said, how can we get people onto one common platform where even if 0.1% of our entire population, right, 1.3 crore people, 0.1%, 13,000 people, if they, men and women, sign up to be just there. You, you saw that initial video. I don't know how many of you got the exact sound bites. But to be just there when there is a particular crisis, like Lakshmi's topic was bang on. It takes a village. We have a trend towards going back to basics in the food we eat and our lifestyle and everything else. But we never felt that it was necessary to go back to basics from a community perspective. So that's going to be at the core of the conversation. I'm going to quickly run you through the app. So to begin with, what we have is a first perspective of police stations, hospitals, and pharmacies. So this is what it looks like. You have an SOS call that goes to 100. We are integrating that as we speak into the police helpline app. And so like Michelle was saying, the first version of the app is going to be about content that is going to be there for somebody to trigger the 100 dial. And then it will become an Uber-style app, wherein while it tells the police to come on board and help, it also holds the citizens accountable to actually come in there. So this is what your home screen will look like. There's a whole bunch of content that can kind of gets cascaded from Newsable. This is the location finder. And we moved on to the, the third tab, which is the, the marketplace tab. And then uh, you can straight actually move into the registrations page. So there is a registration page. One of the questions that, in fact, Shruti was asking to begin with was, or, and even Hema was asking me, how is it that we verify that these pink Samar Samaritans are going to be the right guys, that they themselves are not predators, if you will, you know, uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. So uh, there are processes for that that we're putting down. There is another identification process that we have. We are making sure that there is some level of validation. But then at the end of it, what we do is basically create a platform where people come together. And at the end of the day, it doesn't stop with the app. It is about a movement where we create a sense of community wherein people understand that we have a sense of ownership to the women in our societies.